So basically, when I ask you any question, just restate it. If I say, yeah, what's okay. your name? My name is Brian Coffee, blah, blah, blah. Because yep. people don't know yeah. the questions that I'm asking. Sure. So. What is your name? I say, my name is Brian Colby, team owner. Like yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. My name is Brian Colby, team owner of the Kalamazoo Growlers. Kalamazoo Growlers are changing their name to the Kalamazoo Growlers. Hear me out. I've been here since day one with the Growlers, but I just became the owner this off season. So this was a pretty big year for you individually. Yeah. This year meant just a little bit more, uh, just a little more responsibility. Uh, obviously, being the owner, there, everything falls on you. So, uh, so this team means the world to me. Um, but uh, this was this was a special year for me. Two thousand and fourteen to two thousand seventeen, we were the laughing stock of the league. Uh, I think we set records for the worst record in North Lizic history uh, and some of those years uh, we just we weren't good on the field uh, we had great players uh, but we just didn't win games and so uh, it, we just we didn't put it together uh, in terms of winning games for our fans well, I think we were, we were still a program that was building you know that was year three we had yet to make a postseason we were still establishing a name for ourselves so uh, I was fortunate enough to be an assistant coach those first three summers and really got a chance to get a feel for the league and everything. And so we we're, we're still trying to build it up, you know? Yeah. I mean, so we, we, what was crazy is we weren't winning games, but our attendance continued to rise. We focused on entertainment. We focused on fan experience, on just delivering everything that we could control, food and, and everything, the ballpark improvements. Uh, we just we just couldn't put it together on the field. We had numerous managers. Uh, I think we had a new manager every single year um, until Cody, Cody finally came in in 2000. That's 2017 was his first year. Well, I mean, we we got to I think our, our we started getting to the playoffs every year it was becoming an annual thing for us and that was one of the things I learned at Kalamazoo Valley is before you can make a championship leap. You just have to get to those weekends. You have to start getting into the playoffs every year. You have to set an expectation for an organization. And so for us, those early years was just starting to get our foot in the door every year. And it's a lot easier to recruit guys when you're the postseason team, when you're competing. Uh, and, and that's kind of step one. Well, you know, coming out of COVID in 2021, last year, we, we had a we had a bad year. We didn't we didn't win games, uh, we didn't make the playoffs. It's just a different vibe around here. I, I it was just different. It was back to losing again, and it almost felt like we were going to go back to this 2014 to 2017 thing where great people are having a great time at the games, but we're not winning, and the players aren't having fun, and the coaches, and so. Uh, coming into 2022 this year, uh, working with Cody, talking with our assistants, it was a big year to prove that, hey, we're not going to fall back into this lovable loser thing um, and to go prove it to ourselves that we could do do this. And so coming out of 2021, what was, yep. the, what was the vibe like in 2022? Was, yeah. Was different what clicked? Well, yeah, I mean, coming in this year, again, it was a big year. And so we, we came out the gates rough. I think we started out, uh, you know, losing a lot of games. I don't know what our record was, but we, we were not good to start the 2022 season. 
Um, and then we, we just went on a run. Bases loaded, winning run on third. Base hit right field! Walk it off, Kalamazoo! Walk it off, Kalamazoo! The Growlers chase down a three-run deficit in the bottom of the ninth and win it here in front of a sellout crowd. The Rivets led by as many as seven to nothing earlier in this game. Unbelievable fight from the hometown boys tonight. OB the runner on third. Moore on second, Andrews on first. The 2-2. Two -two. Base it up the middle! Walk it off Kalamazoo! Back to back nights! The Growlers win it in the bottom of the ninth! Come on, baby, yeah! Full count offering. Grounder to third, Ruiz to his left, gloves it, the throw to the bag, in time! Growlers win! The Growlers win their third straight game and keep their grip on first place in the Great Lakes East. Pitch, wave and a miss, and that'll do it. The one pitch, Obi swings and crushes it out to left field. Mitchell goes back towards the warning track, towards the wall. Obi hits it off the video board, and it's 21 to seven. Hotman set, the lefty comes home. Swing, and a tip into the glove to end this one here tonight. The Growlers win it in a big, big way, 15 to five. We are so talented that this is not a matter of if, but when. And when we start playing together as a team and just get to know each other, you guys are going to be very, very successful. Now, the irony of it, I didn't expect it to happen the next day. <laughs> but then the next day they won the double header and that was the start of us winning, I think, 16 of the next 18 games. So they did such an incredible job, even when we were losing, of just every day just buying in, buying in, buying in, that once it clicked, it was just unstoppable. Um, it, we were at literally a high, watching every game on the road. I mean, it was just there was a buzz in the air when we won that first half this year that we had never had. We had never won the first half. We didn't even know what it was like uh, to host a playoff game. I mean, it was just different. So. Um, so we were on a high going into that first half. We were, we, we just, we felt like this was going to be our year. The pitch to Devin Obi. Swing and a miss, game over. Larry, the throw to first, game over. Tack it under it. Game over. Growlers led four to nothing, entering the eighth inning. A five spot from Traverse City. And the Growlers lose their sixth straight tonight, five to four. Let's talk about tonight a little bit, though. Kalamazoo Growlers, a little bit shaky coming out of the All-Star break and into the second half. They've lost eight of their last 10 games. You might be wondering why. Through it, grounds it weakly to third. Play main, game over. Griff with a drive to left center field. That one's going to stay in the yard and be caught to end tonight's game. Line drive off the pitcher and into the glove of the shortstop. What a tough, tough break for Tony Stefan. I'll never forget you know, sitting there with Cody and seeing these, this look in his eyes that was like, we got this. And he just said, listen, we, we are in the playoffs. I like our team. We are set up. I like our pitching. I like the guys that are coming in. We're going to be good. We're going to be dangerous. We got to the last five games of the year. We had lost game after game. And then that, that last, you know, one of those last games we won. And then we won again. 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 And we finished the season on a five-game win streak. And it was like, part of me was like, man, 
I kept thinking about what Cody said. Like we we're set up for the end of the season. We're we're gonna we're gonna make a run, and uh, and we did. Won five games in a row. We we got to that first home playoff game where we knew we were hosting it here. Uh, but the problem still was, we lost. We didn't have the best. We didn't have home field advantage anymore. Traverse City, our rival team that had won every year, the team that was expected to win again, uh, had home field advantage, right? And so we still had to get through Traverse City. Dieter comes set, the 1-1 pitch. Lifted towards the short or third baseman, the throw across the diamond. That won't be picked. Gets away from the first baseman. Pittsfitters are North Woods League champs. Walk-off error sends the Pittsfitters into delirium. Confetti cannons going off in their first season of existence. In the Northwoods League, the Traverse City Pittsfitters are champions. First pitch, that ball to left. Ruse is there, he makes the catch in the Traverse City Pittsfitters go back to back 2019 and 2021 for their second Northwoods League championship. The first team in Northwoods League history to repeat as Northwood League champions. They did it at home in 2019. They had to do it on the road here in 2021. Honestly, one of the best things that happened for us is right when we had gotten our new group of guys in the playoff roster in, we went up to Traverse City and played a, a two-game series, and they were very close games. And we were able to take that moment, and it was kind of the aha moment for the team. And I said, guys, you're one run away from beating them. And we just sat down and we looked at how they beat us, you know, and we knew that the talent was there. It wasn't a talent issue. It was a, a playing style issue. And that if we could make those adjustments, that we were going to beat them. Last game of the season, boss. How are we feeling? Dangerous. In a good or bad way? Very bad for a lot of other people. <laughs> you know, here we go again. Game one of the playoffs. Uh, what's going to happen? You know, and so I think that first game we started out down. Uh, I think the Traverse City was up early in that first game at home. Kind of felt like you know they were going to pull it out, um, and then you know we just deal with a deep drive to right. That one is high. It is deep. It is out of here. Let it ride. Touch them all. Home run for Miles Peel makes it a one run game. A 3 2. Deep drive down the left field line. That one is going to bounce to the wall. Spradlin turns on the Jets. He's heading for second. The throw cut off. He's in there standing up a leadoff double in the bottom of the seventh to get the Growlers' offense going. First pitch hits him. And now Insko has to face Tony Stefan. Deep drive to right by Stefan. That is high. That is deep. It is out of here. Let it run. Touch them all. Growlers lead. Tony Stefan, everyone's favorite Italian, puts Kalamazoo in front. Come on, baby, yeah. One run lead for Kalamazoo. The Growlers looking to take the game one upset. The pitch again. Swing and a miss. Growlers win. Growlers win! Come on, baby! Yes! For the first time in franchise history, the Growlers have won a playoff game at Homer Stryker Field. When they beat them the first night, that was just confidence for you know that was our guys going, oh, oh my God, everything we're, we're doing is working. They had so much confidence going into Game Two that you never, never once felt an ounce of anxiety, even in the game when it kept going back and forth, back and forth. Like, our guys, it was, the dugout was just so much a, a so what. You know, it was never, oh, my God. It was just so what, so what, let's go, let's go. Never once did I feel like they were nervous about playing that game. Give it up. Let's get up there. Come on, boys. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, tomorrow, new day. Let's go right now. Two, one, three. One, two, three, two. Yeah.
Yeah, we weren't nervous going up there. We knew it wasn't going to be easy because they've won so many games. You know that was going to be a battle. But on the same hand, like we were a pretty battle-tested team at that time, so we weren't going to really be afraid of any obstacle in our way. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Turtle Creek Stadium in Traverse City, Michigan. Game two of the first round of these 2022 Northwoods League playoffs. Kalamazoo Growlers and the Traverse City Pit Spitters. Growlers up 1-0 in the first round of the Great Lakes East Series. And his pitch. Clarko out to right. Long run for Colin Summerhill. Can't get there. Down for a hit. Run scores, and the Growlers take the early 1-0 lead. It's that one right at Traffic Conte off the body, and it will bring in the second Kalamazoo run. Shoots that one. Right field and a fair ball into the corner. Derigi's gonna score. Throw waving home tack it. The relay from Tagger. One hop, not in time. We are tied at two. We can do this. If we can beat Traverse City, you know, when they have home field advantage, we, we can beat anybody. Banks Tolly on the first pitch. Hits it in the air out to right center field. Going back is Summerhill and Tool. Neither can get there. It is down for a hit. Tolly going to third. He will get their RBI triple. Growlers back on top. Hits it on the ground up the middle. And just like that, Growlers back up a pair. Runner takes off. Tolly rips it down the line. Fair ball. Into the corner. Two more runs will score. Kalamazoo up eight to four. Now Spradlin with third and second and one out. Upstairs, it hits Spradlin. That's going to load the bases. Brings in Ryan Dykstra, the leadoff hitter, top of the order. 0-2 delivery. Dykstra on the ground through the hole. One run scores. They will hold up the second runner. Breaking ball, hits a left. There's Dykstra and the Growlers. 9-5 victory over the Pitts Bitters. They sweep in advance. All I simply did is I went out to him and I said, hey, we spoke all summer that the championship was gonna have to go through Traverse City. Mission accomplished. We're not, we're not out of the thick of it, but uh, you know, how are we feeling just so far? Game two, it's a wrap. Uh, we're moving on. We have a lot of fun. This is an awesome game. Tough environment to play in. The guys got the job done at Kalamazoo. Nobody thinks we're going to do this, but everyone here in Kalamazoo. So we'll see if we can shock summer collegiate baseball, but I think we will. Right. Can't wait to see it happen. Now we have to face the best team in Northwest League history, the Wisconsin Rap Rapid Raptors. The confidence level inside our clubhouse and with our team was really high at that point. Is, is, this, is this where it ends? 